All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation a squared minus b squared is equal to 49. So to solve this, I'm gonna use the property that states that if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. In this case, a squared minus b squared, a is x and b is y, so this turns into a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49. Now from here, I can rewrite 49 as seven times, or sorry, not seven, 49 times one. 49 is equal to 49 times one, so that's true. And this I can rewrite as seven times seven. Now, we obviously know that a plus b is going to be greater than a minus b. So keeping this in mind, this means that we can't, we can't rewrite a plus b times a minus b as 7 times 7 as 7 and 7 are equal. So this possibility is out of the way, and 49 times 1 is the only possibility here meaning we're going back to a, a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49 times 1. So because a plus b is greater than a minus b, we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to 1 because a minus b, 1 is less than 49 and a minus b is less than a plus b. And this is also in the form a, num a number times a number. So and notice how this is equal to a number times another number. So we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to one. So what we have here is a system of equations and I'm gonna add these system of equations. a plus a is 2a, b and negative b cancel out and 49 plus one is 50. So I get that 2a is equal to 50 and if I divide both sides by two, these two cancel out and I get A is equal to 25. Now that we know that A is equal to 25, remember how we said that A plus B is equal to 49. So this means that 25 plus B is equal to 49 and B is equal to 49 minus 25, which is 24. So A equals 25 and B equals 24.